In contact, envelopes are created by envelope generators that act as signal sources for modulation assignments. These can be added to modules at the group level and affect all zones. But sometimes you need to modulate parameters of zones individually. In this week's tutorial, I'll show you how you can modulate parameters of individual zones by adding a reverb to a single snare of a drum loop by using zone envelopes. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ADSR Toots. Zone envelopes allow you to modulate parameters on a per zone basis. And because they are directly tied to the sample of a zone in which they appear, you can edit them on top of the waveform view. This allows you to create modulations in perfect sync with sample content. To show you how you can use zone envelopes, we'll take a drum loop, slice it up, add some reverb, and modulate the level with the zone envelope. All right, let's get started. First, create a new instrument. Then enter edit mode and open the mapping editor. Next, add your drum loop by dragging it into the mapping editor. I like that one. Double click the zone to open the wave editor. Turn on the grid by clicking the power button. Choose auto and adjust the slider until you get more slice markers than what you need. Uh, that looks good right about there. If you click on a sync slice tab, you can select individual slices and preview them by pressing the play button. So here we can we can find the snares. And we can find the slices that we really don't need. I think we can keep that one there. This one we can get rid of. To remove slice markers, click the minus button and click the slice marker to remove it. Make sure you turn off the delete slice marker mode so that you don't accidentally delete slice markers that you want. And if you know you want a slice marker, you can use a lock button to lock it. Lock slice markers turn gray. I don't really like that one, but... Since I'm only worried about the snares, I'll just leave that for now. All right, so now what we can do is click the Use Beat Machine button to enable Beat Machine on the zones. What this will do, this, this will play each slice in time with the sequencer's tempo. Okay, so the original loop was 127 beats per minute, and my current tempo and logic is 90. I'll change it back to 127 so you can hear the change for yourself. Okay, so that's the original playback speed. Changes to 100. So here's the effect of Beat Machine synced to your DAW's tempo. Now let's add a reverb to a sin effect slot. Now 
Next, we want to add a sentence level module into the group insert effects chain of the group. So right now, all slices will be affected by the reverb. All right, so let's fix it so that only the snares have reverb. So we'll go back to the wave editor and select the zone envelopes tab. So click the reverb send level knob in the panel of the send levels module. And here you can see in the zone envelopes that the add button changed to reflect the last button that we just touched, which was the reverb send levels knob. So click the add button to add an envelope to the waveform view. All right, so now we have an envelope. Now select the pencil tool and click inside the slice of the snare hits that you like to process. A new line will be added to your envelope at this spot. Clicking and dragging allows you to adjust the reverb level of this slice and only this slice. In this case, I need to reverse this so that all other slices have zero level and the snares have a level of about 50%. So to do this, just simply drag across the entire waveform. And next, just click into the slice of the snare. You can also use a plus and minus signs to zoom in and out. You can also cut, copy, and paste regions of your zone envelope. Click in the waveform and drag to highlight the selected region. You can also change an existing selection by clicking and dragging one of the borders. or moving it across the envelope by clicking inside of it and dragging. Once you have your selection, click cut or copy. And to insert the clipboard contents of your envelope, click the paste button. Contact will insert the clipboard region at the position of your edit cursor. The edit cursor is the red line. So I'll go in and add uh, reverb to all of the other snare hits. Um, in this loop that I'm using, the snare hits are on the two and the four. So I'm going to add reverb to all of them. Now when you play your drum loop, only the snares have reverb. All right, let's dial down the reverb level just a little bit. There you have it. We took an awesome drum loop and made it awesomer. Zone envelopes are one of my favorite features in Contact. And when used with a sync based sample mode such as Time Machine or Beat Machine, you can create some very creative effects with modulation in time and only affecting certain sounds. Be sure to try out some of the utility functions of the zone envelope such as randomized envelope, which will create a random step pattern which changes at every slice.
And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials. Supercharge your contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Now go make some music. <laughs>